all E-38 power units are multi-leader, so they have a good resource. According to Menders, it happened that with proper operation and timely maintenance, the engines traveled almost a million kilometers. Although often they failed much earlier, the fact is that motors are very afraid of overheating and water hammer. The cause of the first problem is the often cracking expansion tank of the cooling system or the aluminum tubes of the heater radiator that lose their tightness over time, which leads to leakage of antifreeze. And the second is in the low location of the air intake in the front bumper, which is why the engine can sip water when driving through large puddles. Engines of the sevens with a cylinder block made of aluminum alloy, in principle, are not designed for overhaul. True, some domestic experts have learned how to prolong their life by sleeves, but few undertake such work. The trunk lid of expensive versions is equipped with the so-called opening-slash-closing microlift, in which the hydraulic drive pump fails over time. Who has what hurts? V8 engines with a volume of 3.5 liters and 4.4 liters, released after 1998, are equipped with the proprietary Bivanos variable valve timing system which optimizes the operation of the power unit depending on the crankshaft speed and acts on the intake and exhaust camshafts. This system requires the use of only high-quality oil and its timely replacement. Otherwise, it may fail, most often the hydraulic valve sticks, recovery, about $50. Despite the fact that the service interval for changing engine oil recommended by the manufacturer is 20 to 25,000 kilometers, for trouble-free and durable operation of the power unit, it is necessary to change the lubricant every 8 to 10,000 kilometers. The timing of all engines is equipped with a metal chain that lasts a very long time. The 8-cylinder M62 engines, 3.5L and 4.4L, are considered the most successful, where acceptable fuel consumption and excellent dynamics are perfectly combined. At the same time, they noted characteristic problems. The camshaft position sensor fails, due to which the engine may not start, spare part, $136, the generator fails, the body of which is equipped with liquid cooling, and oil leaks from under the valve cover gasket. But over the purchase of the 7 with the 12-cylinder top unit 5.4L M75, you should think very carefully. Firstly, this engine is quite voracious, it consumes more than 21 liters of gasoline in the city. Secondly, on old copies, the engine control unit often bugs, which manifests itself in its unstable operation. Thirdly, the maintenance of this unit is much more expensive, and it is taken very reluctantly. The motor occupies almost the entire engine compartment, and access to it is limited. Due to such nuances, the 750s are often cheaper than even the 740s. Their dynamic performance differs by only 0.2s in acceleration to hundreds. The maximum speed is the same, and the urban fuel consumption of the 740 is 3 liters less. In a 2.5-liter turbo diesel unit, the high-pressure fuel pump, high-pressure fuel pump, fails over time, in which the contact tracks of the potentiometer wear out, new pump, $600. In more modern common rail engines, after a run of 100,000 kilometers, troubles with the turbine, repair from $200 to $400, and fuel injectors are not ruled out. Traditionally, the sevens have rear axle drive and are equipped with five-speed manual, inexpensive versions, and automatic gearboxes, normal and tiptronic. According to experts, after a run of 150,000 kilometers in both units, manual gearbox and automatic gearbox, oil leaks from under the gearbox shank oil seal and gear shift backstage, in the mechanics, are possible. They may also lose the tightness of the seal of the axle shafts in the rear gearbox. On older machines, failures of the cardan shaft cross, installed between the outboard bearing and the gearbox, were noted. On versions with the mechanics, a two-mass flywheel is used, which, with a very aggressive driving style, fails, which manifests itself in characteristic shocks when the clutch is engaged, spare part, about $400. Lubrication in the mechanics and the rear gearbox must be renewed every 40 to 60,000 kilometers. But the oil in the machine, according to factory recommendations, is designed for the entire service life of the unit, although for its trouble-free operation it is recommended to change the lubricant every 30,000 kilometers. On average, the automatic transmission nurses about 250 to 300,000 kilometers, and then it will be necessary to carry out intermediate repairs, almost $2,000. According to the owners, the 7 is highly stable and precise in control. It is even better than the more drivers 5. 
The chassis is not particularly comfortable, rather, it is moderately tough. E38 independent suspensions are structurally similar to the 5 ones, the front is double lever, and the rear is three-link, both with anti-roll bars, but they are reinforced, and their parts are not interchangeable. The most expensive versions, the short 750s and all the long ILS were equipped with a rear hydropneumatic suspension that maintains a given ground clearance regardless of the load. Compared with its predecessor, the hydropneumatics of the E38 has become more complex, the power steering is now integrated with it, although it was not possible to cure it of the source characteristic of the E32. So, over time, the ride height adjustment valve fails, turns sour, which then leads to a breakdown of the shock absorbers. Repair of such a suspension using new parts costs about $2,000, so often, hydropneumatics are replaced with a conventional rear suspension, with used parts, almost $500. Least of all, about 30,000 kilometers, on our roads are the front stabilizer rods, two pieces of spare parts, $56, work, $10. After another 20 to 30,000 kilometers, ball bearings will be asked to be replaced but the rest of the suspension consumables are able to withstand a mileage of about 100,000 kilometers. So, at this time, in the front suspension, you usually have to change the silent blocks of the front upper levers, a pair of rubber bands, $75, work, $17, and in the rear, the so-called floating silent blocks of the lower X-shaped levers, a pair, $80, labor, $50, and rear upper arms in which the ball pins fail, a pair of parts, $270, labor, $20. In the original, most rear suspension silent blocks are supplied with levers, although you can save money by installing non-original gum bands. But in the front suspension, ball and silent blocks change separately from the levers. The braking system with all disc mechanisms, on powerful versions, or piston calipers are used in front, and the ABS system is very effective. True, over time, the guide brackets of the calipers are developed due to which an unpleasant knock occurs when driving through bumps, two pieces of spare parts, $140, work, $24. Unlike the 5 and the 7, the gearbox is used in the steering instead of a rack. The power steering, depending on the speed of movement, changes the degree of amplification. The weak point of the helmsman is the pendulum of the steering trapezoid, which serves about 80,000 kilometers on our roads, spare part, $180, labor, $24. The tie rod ends can also withstand the same mileage. After a run of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, loss of tightness of the hydraulic booster hoses at the junctions of rubber and a metal clip was noted. A set of hoses is about $300, labor is $100. On cars older than 10 years, the rear brake hoses dry out and crack. Spare parts 2 PCS, $36, work, $24. On older machines, the electromechanical heater valves often fail. As a rule, they wedged in the open position, and the stove constantly supplies hot air. Spare part, $240, labor, $25. The BMW 7 Series, E38, is a car for those who, by status, do not have to be the owner of the freshest executive class model, or those who are not going to overpay a lot of money just to be the owner of a novelty. 7's E38 is more than three times cheaper than modern E65, but at the same time they also provide a very high level of comfort. Despite their age, the first boomers appeared 13 years ago, they are still prestigious and still enjoy success. The upkeep and maintenance of this executive sedan, like the BMW 5 Series, E39, requires a lot of money, and if you do not have a consistently high income, admire it from a distance. But if you have the funds, you can buy a lot for inexpensive. On the domestic market of used cars, the 7 costs about as much as the business 5. In addition, according to the experts who advised us, the repair of the E38 costs no more than the less steep 5 E39.